Hi everybody, author illustrator Brian Yanish here uh, for the Scrapkins Builders Club. We're going to start doing this every Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so I hope you can join us live. If not, you can always go and watch the video later. So we are going to be doing something today called the Balloon Racer. I'm going to actually put this into view right here. You can see I have this string hanging across my screen. So that's what we're going to be building. And what's going to happen is when you release the balloon, it's going to send your rocket across the string or fishing line, string or fishing line. Um, so if you are joining me live, welcome. Gather your materials. Um, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need to get. So today we are going to use a little cardboard tube we are going to need some string or some fishing line. Fishing line actually works a lot better for this project just because um, the straw that's going to run along the string um, goes very smoothly over this fishing line. So you're going to need that. You are going to need a balloon and you're going to need a straw. And of course, we're going to need some extra materials like some scissors some crayons or markers as well as some different colored pieces of scrap paper so if you are going to collect those i'm going to give you a minute or so to go collect your materials um, so you can get started building with us again tube straw scissors string or fishing line and um, a balloon which is going to power this thing so this project, which I said is called the Balloon Racer, is actually the last project in the book Junk Rethunk. It's actually page 74. You can see right there, there is the Balloon Racer. And I thought it would be a fun activity to do today, to have something that moves. Um, I like toys and things that actually can activate after we create them. So. What we are going to do first is we're going to test this one to see how it works and then I'm going to show you how to build your own, okay? So you'll notice that the way this thing is constructed, and here's another example right here, is it's a cardboard tube with a section of straw taped across the top and when we create this we are going to string it along our string, putting it through the straw, so the straw is the piece that's hanging on to the actual rope. Then we're going to tape this balloon on the bottom of our tube and that's going to form the power for our balloon. So when we're hanging a string, we want it to go to have a little bit of an incline facing down just so our balloon or our rocket doesn't have to work hard going uphill. So I'm going to start this here and we'll see if this one actually works. You'll notice that I have a clothespin over the end of my balloon. That's something that um, just helps hold it closed until I'm ready to use it. Because you don't want to tie a knot because that's going to be really difficult to open up. So I've got my clothespin right there. So I'm going to line this up. If I take off the clothespin, but hold the end of a balloon, make sure it's ready to go, we're going to see if we can get this thing to move along the string. So I'm going to let go of this three, two, one. Yeah, pretty cool. It actually did a flip. So you'll notice that if I take this back, it's actually running right across this string. And the balloon, as I said, is causing the air power to force it down the string like this. So I always, before I attach my balloon, I'm gonna wanna make sure it moves along the string. Actually right above this, I have a piece of fishing line which you can't see because it's almost invisible. Um, and you can see I've got another one here it goes really well along the fishing line. In fact, this one just kind of wants to let gravity take it down. Like so. So we'll talk about hanging up our string a little bit. So right now we're going to work on designing our little tube rocket balloon racer. Uh, here's the design I did as well. I call this the USS Comet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our cardboard tube. And I always find that when I'm decorating a tube, 
easiest way to do this is if I flatten it. It's much easier to draw on it with markers or pencils or crayons. So I've got my flattened tube. Then I can start designing it any way I want. So I'm going to grab some markers and some crayons. Maybe I'll grab a black marker to just... I like this idea of drawing a window on the side because maybe somebody is riding inside this rocket. But you can design anything you want on the side of your tube. Maybe just want to do some stripes. This one. Where is this one? I'll bring this back. I did some flames on the side of this one, which are kind of cool. So whatever design you want to do. I'm going to do a, a window on this one with a little creature inside, maybe. Maybe some stripes. And you're going to want to decorate both sides because you're going to see both sides. So stripe goes along this side. You can even name your rocket if you want. And I'm going to grab some crayons to start to decorate this. And we've got the extra scrap paper here in case we want to add some fins or some things coming off our rocket to make it look like it's moving fast. So we're going to take a few minutes to decorate our rocket here. I'm going to go with some orange and red today. You know, when I design projects, sometimes I have an exact idea of what I want to do. Like I want to do a blue and green striped rocket, or sometimes I just pick up some crayons and I just start drawing. And whatever happens is what happens, which is kind of cool. So I'm discovering as I create. Okay, I think our creature is going to be purple. inside the little window on this side. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the way that side looks. Okay, so the first side of my rocket, I got this little creature looking outside of the window. Now I'm gonna work on the other side. I've already got a green stripe, but I'm gonna keep decorating. I like this idea of stripes, so I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to do some red. And some blue. Okay. So I've got side one. I've got side two. These cool stripes make it look like it's moving fast. So I can actually bunch it open again into that round tube shape again after I'm done designing. Now I want to use a couple pieces of this paper to make it look like we have some fins coming out of the back of our rocket. So I'm just going to grab some scissors and just cut some kind of long strips which are kind of pointy at the end. Maybe like that. And I'll do two of those. And again, this can be anything you want. Maybe you want really short things coming out of there. Maybe you want to look like a, there's a, some flames coming out of the back of your rocket. It's up to you. I'm going to attach them so they're kind of hanging out the back like that. I realize you can't see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some tape, put a piece of tape on the end of my, let's call this a fin. And then I'm going to stick this inside the tube. So we've got this cool little fin hanging out of the back of my rocket. Make sure my tape is all sticky in there. In fact, I'll add another piece of tape because that one didn't hold too well. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other little strip here. Put some tape on the end, stick it inside my tube, a 
Okay, that's kind of cool. You notice that this one's a little crooked, but I kind of look, I, I like the way that looks. It looks like flame shooting out of the back of this rocket. So it already looks like it's going super fast across the sky. Okay, so you can spend a little more time decorating this or you can always keep decorating it later. Maybe you want to add something to the outside of the tube. It's really up to you. I like to keep the design pretty simple because I don't want it to be too heavy. I want it to be able to fly pretty well. So the next thing that we're going to do after we've designed our rocket here is we're going to add a piece of straw on the top. That straw is actually black, so it's a little harder to see. But you can see it's almost the same length of the tube. So I'm going to grab a straw. The one I happen to have today is green. So I'm going to use the straight section. If you have one of these flexible ones, don't use the flexible section. You're going to want to use the straight section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up to measure it so it's the same length as my tube. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut it off like so. So you see that my straw section is the same length as my tube. And that's going to sit right on the top of my rocket. So I'm going to get two or three medium length pieces of tape. Hey, let's put them up here on our little clothesline. All right, I'm going to use three today. So I've got three pieces of tape. And I'm just going to tape that piece of straw right on the top of my tube. One piece of tape on the front of the piece of straw and just taping it down like that. So I've got one piece of tape here. I'm going to put one piece of tape in the middle, one piece of tape down there. So this section is nice and secure on the top of my tube. We do not want it flying off while our rocket is moving. So we'll tape this one in the middle. I always use my fingernails to really press down the tape when I'm taping something to make sure that it stays in place. So if you need a longer piece of tape because you really want to make sure this piece of straw doesn't go anywhere, go for it. Okay. So you can see here's the side view. My tube has this green piece of straw on the top. Or if I show you that way, it's just like this. Kind of like a fin going across the top. Because we're going to put our piece of string through this tube. So I'm going to leave my design like that. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to set up your string. So like I said, you can use either string or fishing line. Fishing line works really well. Um, and what I usually do is I take my string, and you can't see where this is tied because it's tied off screen, but I tied it to um, the leg of a bookshelf. So I always tie one end, and then I'm going to take my other piece of string, and I'm going to find another place across the room that's a little bit higher than the bookshelf. And usually for this side, I usually tape it in place. I don't want to tie it yet because I'm going to need to thread my straw through this string. So that's why I just want to tape it and not tie it. So you can see the um, fishing line also has the same incline. OK, so here's my other rocket. Uh, since we're going to fly the rocket we just created, um, I'm going to undo this string on this end I'm leaving my piece of tape there you can see I just took down my string I'm gonna take off this rocket we're just gonna slide it all the way out and I'm gonna take my new rocket which is here and I'm going to thread the string through the piece of straw that's on the top. Sometimes if the end of your string is uh, frayed, you can put it in your mouth, get it a little wet so it's easier to 
poke it inside that straw. Okay. So as you can see, I just have threaded the end of that string through my straw. So when I pull this tight, you can see there is my, my rocket. As I said, I want to put this string up higher because I want to make sure that it can travel along that string. So I'm going to grab my piece of tape. I'm going to take down this other fishing line one because it's getting in the way right now. Get my piece of tape and then we're going to attach our string to our other bookshelf. And you can't see it because it's on the other side of the room off camera. In fact, you can't see me. I am securing the string. Okay. So here's our rocket like this. It's going to travel from up down like so. And always test your rocket out. If it's not flowing smoothly, you're going to want to adjust it because if, it's, if there's a snag or it's going uphill, the balloon might not have enough force to make it go. That's why I always have it going downhill. And if for some reason you don't have a balloon and you can't get it to work, you can just launch your, uh, your rocket without the balloon. So I've got a balloon here. And I will say that I've blown up a couple of these today. And a couple of them burst while I was blowing them up and really scared me. So if it bursts, don't worry. We'll just grab another one. I'm not blowing these up all the way. We're going to go about medium size. Now the reason that I grab a, um, a clothes pin or even one of these little binder clips, I don't know if you can see that, metal clip, open it up, it's used to hold paper together, is we're going to tape this balloon to the bottom of our rocket and I don't want to keep holding this the whole time so I'm actually going to twist the end of my balloon and put this little clip over the end just to pinch it closed, okay? I don't want to tie it, but I don't want to hold it too. So, got my balloon, set this down for a moment. I've got my rocket here. Now what we are going to do is we're going to put two pieces of tape inside the tube. One in the front, one in the back, and I want a pretty long piece of tube, because tape, excuse me, because what we're going to do is we're going to tape it to the top of the balloon. Okay, so I'm going to get two long pieces of tape. There's one. This is a very handy place to put your tape while you're working on things. There's another one. Okay, so I'm going to put my first piece of tape inside my tube like this. So half of it is in and half of it is hanging out. Okay, see that? A little hard to see and the other tape is going to go in the back same thing we want half of the tape hanging in really put your finger in there and stick down the tape to make sure it's sticking to the inside of the tube and you can see we've got these two pieces of tape hanging down and they are going to be sticking to the balloon itself just to hold it in place so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my balloon just under my tube, like right about there. I want the tube to be a little closer to the back of the balloon, not to the front, to the back of the balloon. So once I do that, I can take my first piece of tape and stick it down to the balloon itself. And then I'm going to get the other piece of tape and do the same thing. Now you see there's going to be a little bit of distance between the tape and the balloon and that's fine. You just want to make sure that it, it's holding it in place, okay? If you need, need another piece of tape, go ahead and add it and just make sure that there's a little bit of movement too because sometimes the balloon is not powerful enough to send the rock along the string, but we're going to test this out again. Okay, what I do is now I can take off this clip, but before I take off the clip, I'm going to pinch the end of the balloon because I want to make sure that I'm 
all the air doesn't go out of it yet. So I'm taking off my clip, untwisting it, and just holding the end like so. Because when I'm ready to release my rocket, I'm going to let go of my hand, and hopefully the air in the balloon is going to send my rocket along the string. Let's try it to go up a little higher. Let's see if we can come from off screen and go. So we'll count down our rocket. Five, four, three, two, one. There, that was pretty cool. You can see that we got our balloon to power our rocket all the way from one side to another. And I'm gonna do that one more time just so we can show you guys again how we attached that uh, balloon to the rocket. So we're going to start that step again. I've actually got a balloon that's already blown up with a clothespin on it. So we'll set that aside. So again, to attach our balloon to our rocket, we're going to get two long pieces of tape. One of them goes inside the front of our tube, half in and half out. Make sure you're really sticking down the tape inside the tube and you want half of it hanging out. If I put this behind it, can you see that tape a little bit better? Not really. All right. The other piece of tape is going to go in the back of the tube, half in, half out. Again, really make sure that you are sticking it inside the tube, sticking it down to the cardboard, using your fingernail to really rub against the tape. So we have these two ends of tape hanging down. We're going to grab our balloon. We're going to blow it up. It helps if you have a clip or a clothespin to hold the end of your balloon closed. And the way I do that is I blow it up. I give the end a little twist and then I put the pinching end of the clothespin of the clip over that to hold it in place. Now I can stick my balloon on. Again, we want to stick it towards the back of the balloon, not towards the front. So kind of towards the back, line it up, put my piece of tape, stick it down in the front, stick it down in the back like so. And also at this time, if you need to readjust your string, you could also make sure your string is high enough. So we've got our rocket ready to go. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the end of my balloon and pinch it. Then I'm going to take off the paper clip or the clothespin because I don't want it to fly yet. So then I just untwist it a little bit to make sure it's going to be ready to go. I'm still holding the end of the balloon until I'm ready to launch. So. Let's go a little higher. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one, launch. There it goes. Cool. That one was pretty good. As you can see, we could just take off the balloon, blow it up again, and retape it. And again, if you can't get the balloon to work, you can always just shoot your tube along the string. And trust me, if you use fishing line, if you happen to have some of this around the house, it'll go even faster. Um, the string has a little bit of friction because of all the fibers, whereas a fishing line is made out of a plastic nylon, so it's really slippery against the straw that we created. So that is how you create a balloon racer out of recycled materials that you have at home. I hope you enjoyed our little um, DIY instructional video today. If anybody wants to send me a picture of the project they've created or a little video, I would love to see it. We're going to be doing this every week and I'm going to start to go through most of the projects inside this book. We may even go back to the first book, the Build It book, to actually do some projects from this one as well. So I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next week. Send me any comments or pictures and have a great day, you guys. Take care.